Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriend, Kayla Nicole, appears to have addressed the backlash and embarrassment she's faced since his romance with Taylor Swift was confirmed. Taylor Swift and NFL star Travis Kelsey went public with their relationship last month after weeks of speculation. However, after the news broke, Travis Kelsey's former dating history was thrown into the spotlight and online trolls began comparing his ex-girlfriend, Kayla Nicole, to his new girlfriend, Taylor Swift. In a new video, Kayla Nicole shares a letter she wrote to black women, which appears to have addressed the scrutiny she suffered over the past week. Just watch the video. Hey guys, Kayla here. It's always been really important for me to use my platform not to create division, but to elevate and unite women, black women specifically. So I prepared a letter and would like to share it with you today. Dear black girl, they may call you a traitor for falling in love. You'll hope the ones closest will protect you, but you will quickly find out that people don't protect what they don't value. They'll say you're too much, too provocative, too boisterous, too outspoken, and in the same breath tell you that you're not enough, not successful enough, not wholesome enough, maybe not even intelligent enough. They'll say you deserve the backlash and embarrassment because of your blackness, you should have known better. They'll even try to tie your value to your net worth. But black girl, please remember your value lies elsewhere. Your value is deep within your heart, the way you love, the way you give. Your value is in your resilience your willingness to forgive. The way you protect what means most to you, even if it hurts you along the way. And the way you stand up for what means most to you, even though they may not ever do the same. But black girl, respectfully, let me stop you there because you don't have to participate in this tumultuous, often one-sided journey. Preserve your heart. Even when they try to quantify your character, and test your boundaries. You do not have to engage. You do not have to respond because there is power in your silence. And you can use that same power to silence the noise and the self-doubt. Silence the voices within that want you to give in to this demoralizing and antiquated narrative. Tap into that power because I know, girl, the rage of the world is loud. But black girl, your God is louder and your tribe is stronger. Your blood runs deeper and is filled with strength. And when you finally find the strength to speak your truth, it is your voice that will help heal. Because black girl, let me tell you, you're not in this alone. And even though sometimes I too ask, why me? I'm reminded that this isn't just about me. This isn't just my story, a singular experience. My truth, trauma, and vulnerability is a relatable part of the human experience. I know I'm not alone, and I want to make sure that you know you aren't either. On days where I feel most inadequate, I have to remind myself that I am, have been, and will always be more than enough. Look, we love, we hurt, we heal, but always remember that your story is yours to tell, and you never know whose life it may touch because there is so much power in community and connection. So, dear Black girl, when the world gets dark and times get hard, when you feel like your back is against the wall and your hands are tied like nobody knows or understands what it takes to be you, remember that you are a part of something way bigger. This is only a small chapter in your story. And if you need help, there are resources like therapy, prayer, and community to help you make it through. But most importantly, I want you to remember that you are loved, you are valued, you are allowed to take up space. You deserve protection. And your feelings, they matter too. Solely because you're a black girl. Sincerely, a black girl. The video instantly went viral on all social media platforms and people shared their thoughts. Let's take a look at some of the things that people had to say. Somebody tweeted, Kayla Nicole did what most black women do after failed relationships with the others. They see that men are still men and somehow try to demean black men who only want black women for their choice. The whole I'm quote unquote only for black women and girls is so tired. Another person also tweeted, the internet is a funny place. A group of black men can't get together and take a picture in their suits. But Kayla Nicole makes a mockery of black women by making a half-felt dear black girl post over a white man. Like bro, what? 
Another person said she's been cutting strays from black men and Swifties, surrounding the narrative that black women are upset Travis and Taylor are dating. She hasn't said one word until now, and now she's being labeled jealous. All I hear is positivity and encouragement in her words. Another person said, imagine if Michael B. Jordan did this after he and Lori Harvey broke up. The world would have called him lame and laughed at him. And lastly, this person said, I want black parents to speak life into their daughters so that strangers on the internet don't have to. So yeah, that's what people have to say on social media. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.